Hello students, welcome to my class. Today we are going to discuss basis. In my previous video, I had taught you about acids, properties, preparations, chemical properties. And uh, now I will be uh, talking about basis and uh, that will include the definition, the types, the factors on which we classify, that is classification. Uh, method of uh, preparing uh, chemical properties, physical properties and uh, this video is uh, really going to help you a lot uh, building your basics and I am sure you will like the video and all your uh, doubts will also be clear. Uh, children please like, share and subscribe my channel uh, if the video is uh, really helping you out okay so now let's uh, begin a base is a metallic oxide or a hydroxide uh, we can include ammonium hydroxide also though ammonium it does not come under metallic actually when we say base it's a metallic oxide or metallic hydroxide also ammonium hydroxide which react with the hydronium ion of the acid to form salt and water only like we talk, spoke about hydronium ion that is acid in water uh, is able to produce your hydronium ion because acid has got one hydrogen which we had discussed in the previous video. Uh, here we say that base will definitely react with the hydronium ion of the acid produced and it will form salt and water only that means there is no other product other than salt and water. And when we say a basic oxide, it's a metallic oxide. If you remember standard 7, we had done a metal reacts with oxygen to give you a metallic oxide. A non-metal react with oxygen to give you non-metallic oxide. So we discussed about acid oxide in the previous video. Here we are talking about basic oxides, which is a metallic oxide. And it contains one oxide ion, O2 minus. It will react with an acid to form salt and water only. So whenever we are defining, we are giving the definition of a base or a basic oxide and we are talking about it reacting with either the hydronium ion of the acid uh, and forming salt and water only. So the only word has an importance here. When we talk about basic hydroxide, it is the metallic hydroxide which contains hydroxide, so hydroxyl ion and it will react with acid to form again salt and water only. So please don't make mistake when you write the definition. Then we come to an alkali. An alkali is a base which is soluble in water. So definitely all alkalis are bases but all bases are not alkali. So only those which are water soluble, the bases which are water soluble is an alkali. So when we have to define or we have to say what is an alkali, we need to say that it's a basic hydroxide which dissolves in water producing a hydroxyl ion. If you remember about acid, please go through the previous video. This video is going to be very helpful after that. So, an um, alkali is a basic hydroxide which when dissolves in water produces a hydroxyl ion as the only negatively charged ion. So, when we say sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, these are strong alkalis. Calcium hydroxide, ammonium hydroxide are considered as weak alkalis. So, it, the strength that is strong base or a weak base, strong alkali or a weak alkali depends upon the dissociation of hydroxyl ion. So, ferric hydroxide, copper hydroxide, copper oxide, magnesium hydroxide, aluminium hydroxide are some of the examples of the bases. Copper oxide with HCl will give you salt and water. Sodium hydroxide and HCl will give you salt and water. No other product. Here is the importance of the word only which I was talking to you in this slide. Okay, now let's go to the next one. And the next slide I have noted down about the classification of bases. 
when we have to classify bases on the basis of strength strong alkali undergoes complete dissociation we were talking about it just now and the weak alkali has got a low concentration of hydroxyl ion and we we spoke about the examples in the previous video if we are taking down on the basis of acidity the number of hydroxyl ion which can be produced per molecule of the base in an aqueous solution it is monoacidic by diacidic and triacid so monoacidic base is sodium hydroxide potassium hydroxide ammonium hydroxide 1 oh minus 1 hydroxyl ion diacidic 2 that is calcium hydroxide copper hydroxide triacidic 3 aluminium hydroxide ferric hydroxide so uh, these are the classification of bases now we come to preparation so when we are talking about preparation from metals directly metal oxide about the metallic oxide the basic oxide we had just discussed the definition in the previous slide so sodium and oxygen gives you sodium oxide Re reactive metal with water like if you have so, uh, potassium with water you'll get potassium hydroxide and hydrogen these equations were discussed in the hydrogen chapter of standard 9 if you want you can go and check it once you were asked also to uh, see that uh, video of hydrogen it is really going to help you a lot as far as chemistry is concerned okay so calcium and water also gives you calcium hydroxide and hydrogen so hydroxide bases are produced metallic oxide and water like sodium oxide and water gives you sodium hydroxide are bases given calcium oxide and water gives you calcium hydroxide there's also a method of double decomposition by which a base can be formed that is salt solution and a base like ferric chloride and sodium hydroxide gives you ferric hydroxide i'm sorry this three will come out and sodium chloride copper sulfate and sodium hydroxide will give you copper hydroxide and sodium sulfate in this case you get precipitates if you remember the video of uh, analytical chemistry where sodium hydroxide and ammonium hydroxide gives you metal hydroxide with a salt solution so with a color like ferrous hydroxide will give you dirty green ferric hydroxide will give you reddish brown copper hydroxide will give you a uh, pale blue precipitate and so on so if you want you can check that video of mine also it is already there you just have to uh, subscribe my channel and uh, check uh, the topic and you are going to see it. it please watch it is really going to help you a lot we come to the next method of preparation that is metal sulfide with oxygen will give you metal oxide and sulfur dioxide this was done last year on standard 9 and if the standard 9 children are seeing it is for you that a metal sulfide with oxygen will give you metal oxide and sulfur dioxide is given out decomposition also metal carbonate will give you metal oxide and carbon dioxide and i have shown examples here which is uh, really going to help you uh, because uh, practice is needed here these kinds of equations are given in the question you will be asked to prepare something from something like zinc oxide from zinc sulfide and uh, you are also asked to complete the equations and so on so it is very important for a student of 9 and 10 to prepare the chemical equations properly then sodium nitrate and potassium nitrate do not decompose on heating these are some of the salts which will not decompose there was one complete table which i had taught you so you are please requested to check my videos on chemistry they are really going to help you clearing all your uh, doubts and build a strong base in chemistry i can guarantee this metal nitrate will give you metal oxide nitrogen dioxide and oxygen uh, yes but sodium nitrate and potassium nitrate will not give you sodium oxide they will give you sodium nitrite and oxygen and they will not give you uh, um, no nitrogen dioxide even the preparation of ammonium hydroxide is a combination reaction this is a very common reactions which we have uh, done it so many times when we were teaching you sublimation also 
Now the physical properties. Yes, the bases have a sharp, bitter taste. Indicator, it will turn the red litmus blue, methyl orange orange to yellow, phenophthalene colorless to pink. It has got a soapy touch and this is only because when you touch the base there is uh, oil in your skin and it will uh, quickly form a soap and therefore a soapy touch. It definitely acts as a strong electrolyte because it can dissociate and it has got a very mild corrosive action on skin which is uh, much less as compared to the acid. So the next uh, slide. Yeah, chemical properties. Strong alkalis with carbon dioxide will give you carbonate and water. So sodium hydroxide with carbon dioxide gives you sodium carbonate and water. A very important reaction. Neutralization, yes, you know this. Acid and base will give you salt and water. So here base is calcium hydroxide. Acid is HCl giving you the salt, calcium chloride and water. Precipitation. The salts of metal in solution with a base produces precipitate which I was talking to you just now. Dirty green precipitate, white gelatinous precipitate if it is zinc hydroxide. I spoke about ferric chloride, uh, ferric hydroxide. I spoke about copper hydroxide just now in the previous video. Then we have... Uh, Amphoteric metallic hydroxide. Yes, amphoteric metallic hydroxides will react with a base giving you a salt, sodium, zincate and water. Then ammonium salt with a base will give you salt, water and ammonia. This we have done when we were doing preparation of ammonia. Ammonium chloride and sodium hydroxide gives you salt, water and ammonia gases released. Uh, test for acidity or alkalinity, yes this is important, which talks about the pH scale, everyone knows power of hydrogen, which represents the hydronium ion concentration in a particular solution. So if the pH scale is 7, we know that it is a neutral uh, uh, solution like water, if less than 7 it will be acidic, more less than 7 more is the acidity like from 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 0, 1 the acidity will increase and greater than 7 up to 14 that is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 is basicity and it increases at be as it becomes more than 7. So this is a very common um, concept which uh, all of you know. Uh, we don't have much about bases in the council's paper. Uh, I am, as I told you, I always stick to the syllabus. Uh, so this is only this much about bases. What you have to take care of is the definitions. You have to take care of the uh, types of classifications and the basis on which the uh, bases are uh, classified. Uh, your chemical equations for method of preparation. Know all the physical properties of bases and definitely the chemical properties with equations and their technique so that you don't miss out any uh, twisted question. Uh, okay children, uh, please watch my video and uh, do share, like and subscribe my channel. It uh, really builds... Uh, uh, you know, confidence in children so that uh, their chemistry becomes stronger and obviously with your like, share and uh, uh, subscribing my channel gives me a positive vibe and I feel happy that yes, children are really uh, gaining by my video and uh, yeah, of course, I feel good about it. Okay, children, then uh, keep preparing. Uh, my next video will be on salts. Uh, I will be uploading it soon. Acids I have done. Uh, basis is this. The upcoming will be salt. Okay, so children, take care. Bye. And uh, as and when you come across any doubt, please put it in the comment section. I will clear it all. Bye, children. Take care.